We found some SDCC 2021 Funko Pop leaks. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas again. So glad you danced by. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Couples out, joys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. Did you hear what I said? We found some 2021 Funko Pop leaks. Yes, you just said it. And why are you whispering? Nobody's here. Why are you whispering? This is just my voice. It is? You sound like a mouse. A little mouse. You're still whispering to me. It's weird. We're gonna go through the list one by one, and some we might not really talk about because we don't care about them, and others we might actually flip out. Normally when that happens, I call people's mamas. Hoes. Careful, you might get banned. No, pantyhose. Gotcha. Stick around until the end of the video where we're gonna unbox some new mystery grill boxes. Did you just fart? <laughs> so the list actually starts off pretty lame. It starts off with Princess Ariel, Three Musketeers, Goofy, and Mickey. Didn't you call that? I said that they would be for cons later in the year. Yeah. I didn't think that they would do two in one con. Do you think that that's true? I don't know. But I like the idea of Ariel. What What is her variant? Princess Ariel. That's all it says? That's all it says. I have a feeling that she's dressed as a princess. They already have that though. Well, this is a new one where she's dressed as a princess. Emperor's New Groove. Kronk Scout Outfit? Boy Scout. Is that what it is? And then Beauty and the Beast Wardrobe, which sounds pretty cool. That'll be neat. Then there's the Isle of Dogs Atari. Do you know what Isle of Dogs is? It, wasn't that a stop motion animation film? I've never with dogs heard of in it. it. Okay. Pop Rocks Sir Mix-a-Lot. That's pretty cool. Here, do your dance. Now, do a dance with your back, your butt. And then I can sing the song. Do a dance with my butt? Yeah, you're, you're just going to swing it around. I'm going to say baby got I'm back. I'm going to swing it. How do you swing your butt around? I don't know. You show me. You're a girl. Baby got back. That's all I know. You don't want none of these buns, hun. Is that what he says? If you farted right now, I'd be so angry. I wouldn't fart. Okay, seriously, I moved this table over so you wouldn't be pushing me okay, in my legs. Okay. The chair's going crazy, Heather! I can't control it! When I looked up there at myself, I really... It really tickled my funny bones. Okay, so here's a cool one. Hold Star Wars... Okay. Star Wars Rebels Imperial Commando. What's that? It looks... What do you mean, what is that? It's, it's bad ass is what it is. All I think about when someone says Commando is, like, no underpants. That guy, right there. Is he not wearing underpants? Isn't he cool? How do he's wearing underpants? You sure? He's wearing a whole, like, suit. Yeah, but do you know if he has anything under that suit? <sighs> he might be going commando. Then there's a Star Wars Ray. Who cares? I don't want to talk about that. DC Batman with scythe. Why does he have that? He has a scythe because it's a Batman with a scythe. It's pretty cool. But it's like he's he death. Ever, has he ever had that? Yeah, he's like, there's a cool version of Batman with a scythe. Then there's DC Imperial Deathstroke. That's the Imperial, the Chinese wave or whatever. Where they have the imperial outfits on, I know, the, the, the feudal, the, yeah, I the, got the, it. the 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 imperial. I know what that is. Looks like wearing a skirt, but he isn't. DC White Lantern. Okay, DC Doctor Fate. He looks so, sort of like Doctor Strange, but he wears like a gold helmet. He's really neat. I don't like the helmet thing. You know how I feel about helmets. He has an unk in his chest. Why does he have that? He's cool looking. What are you talking now, about? I asked why he has I an don't know. In his chest. I have no idea. But look at him. Isn't he cool? There's one he doesn't have an unk. See? He's wearing a helmet. He's all right. You're a hard one to please. You would know. My Hero Academia Gang Orca. He's wearing a tie. Why? I don't why know. Why does this tie look like a chewed up piece of bubble gum? It looks like a lady parts. It really sort of does. Demon Slayer Zenitsu with lightning. Demon Slayer Hold Ren on. Goku. Okay, it looks like a little kid with a bowl cut. No, who else? Uh, look up Ren Goku. Ooh, that one's cool. 
He looks like he has like fire. McDonald's Bandmaster Nugget. Wow, I've been waiting my whole life for a Fungo Pop of a Bandmaster Nugget. Look at that photo. You're telling me you're not on board with this? The lips are really freaking me out. Better than the lips on Gang Orca though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ghostbusters Mini Puffed with weight. Now this is actually from the new Ghostbusters film that's coming out and they're like little Stay Puft Marshmallow Man like mini characters. I think that this is gonna be the baby Groot of the Ghostbusters franchise. All right, Heather, I'm gonna need you to look these up because I need to know what Motu characters these are. Masters of the Universe characters. I need to know who Whiplash, what he looks like. Okay, so he's sort of like a snaky looking character. He looks like Shrek with weird fins. <laughs> oh yeah, Roboto. You can see through his chest. That's so cool. I wonder if they're gonna do that for the Funko Pop, where it's translucent. He has like gear nipples. Yes! That was pretty cool. Who doesn't want gear nipples, Heather? I can't answer that. Everybody does, I think. Marvel Falcon. I don't know what Falcon we'd be getting at this point. But isn't he Captain America? Maybe Marvel Falcon from the Winter Soldier. We never got that version of Falcon. Marvel Cap Wolf, where it's Captain America as a wolf. What? He turned into a wolf at one point. It's pretty cool. Why? Is he a Transformer? It Is had... he a Nanny Magus from Harry Potter? It's where you can turn into an animal. Oh my God, I thought I had a stroke. I, you said, I, th I thought I didn't know what you were saying. Marvel Blade and Marvel Metallic Doppelganger Spider-Man. It's a Spider-Man that's a doppelganger, but he has like teeth and What's he's like evil looking. It's like a copy of Spider-Man. And he has like Is claws. that the meme? He, no, where no, he's no. pointing to himself? No, no. No, this is, this is like an evil comic book version. You of have a really big nose hair. Samurai Jack, it says Aku or Demon Go, but we actually have a photo of Demon Go. He looks like a blue jack-o'-lantern with fire on the top. He's really cool looking. The Simpsons, Homer Belly Dancer. Ooh, that'll be cool. Harry Potter, Harry flying with wing key. What's a wing key? It's a key with wings. Marvel What If, Supreme Leader. The leader is a Hulk villain with a really big head because he has a brain in there, like a really big brain. Is that why your head's so big? Because you got a brain in there? You probably don't. You don't have many thoughts, like good ones. I do have good thoughts. Your brain's probably like this big. I just don't know why your head's so big. Got like packing peanuts in there? Okay, so this one's really cool, but you haven't made it this far in the office yet. If you didn't already know, Heather does a podcast called The Office Orientation, where she talks about The Office, and it's her very first time ever watching The Office from start to finish. And it's a really good podcast because I'm in it. It's a good podcast because I'm in it, but Chris is also in it, but that has nothing to do with how good it is. Head over to Google and type in The Office Orientation Podcast, and you should be able to find it literally everywhere. It's the Samurai Stanley, right? Yes! Yeah! Oh my God. Oh my God, I know. Did you see a photo of him? No, I saw the episode. You did see the episode? No, I didn't. Why are you lying? And then there's a Suicide Squad 2 Funko Pop that hasn't been announced yet. 2 Funko Pop? You mean a 2-pack? Suicide Squad 2, the film. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? I thought you were talking about a 2-pack. Toki Doki, Sabu... Khan and Tokidoki Caramello. So Caramello is probably a chocolate. It was like a pink cactus. Caramello is not chocolate. It's like a Day of the Dead unicorn. Oh, that one's actually pretty cool. That's cute. I need to know what fat gum is on My Hero Academia. Why has he got knee pads on? He's fighting things. Yeah, I don't understand animes. I'm not good with that. Well, you should watch them. You guys need to check out this anime. I don't want to watch anime. A wise person once said, F anime, it's stupid. Was that you? Yeah, it was me. And then there's a Dungeons and Dragons Xanathar. Whoa, Whoa that's cool. Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons is actually doing a lot of cool things lately. Aren't they the ones that had the cube? Yes. I thought so. Yeah, the cube. And then they're coming out with the Funko Pop box that has like a monster's mouth on it. Yes. Yeah. There are two Pokemon Funko Pops that haven't been announced yet. Then a G.I. Joe Cobra Bat. Wait, what? Po oh, okay. That hasn't been announced. Got it. The Cobra Bat is pretty cool. I believe it's like a robot, like Cobra Kit. Are you serious? Battle Android Trooper. Wow, so cool. That's gonna look really cool in Funko Pop form. I'm excited for that. Parks and Rec, Filibuster Leslie. I, I don't care about that. I'm not a Park and Rec fan. DBZ, Majin Vegeta, Metallic. Haven't we gotten that? 
We've gotten a Mijin Vegeta before, I believe, but just not yeah. a metallic one. Transformers Shockwave. Another character that turns into a gun, but he has a really cool looking face. It looks like an eyeball or something. Yeah, Transformers don't do anything for me. I'm really sorry. Funny story. When I was a kid, I had that Transformer and I put it in a sandbox and totally ruined it because you couldn't transform it anymore. Yeah, why would you put a Transformer in a sandbox? Are you an idiot? <laughs> Younger Chris was trash. Uh, was? And then Game of Thrones moment, Jamie versus Ned Stark. Who's asking for this? Me! Nobody cares about Game of Thrones, although it's supposed to be a 10 year anniversary of Game of Thrones, but people like totally stop collecting Game of Thrones. Well, most people. There's gonna be a lot of people in the audience that are like, I love Game of Thrones, I still collect. Remember when that one was worth like $400 and now it's worth like 20? Yeah, I know, yeah. Or maybe like 10 or something? That sucked. As far as the SDCC leaks go, I'm pretty excited for some of these. The wardrobe stands out. I do like the doppelganger Spider-Man. I think that one's kind of cool also. The Shockwave Transformer, very exciting. I've been collecting all the Transformers, so I'm excited about that. How about you? Anything stand out? Uh, the Stanley and that Tokidoki Unicorn Day of the Dead. And if they come out with a Togepi, I'm all over that. But Pokemon, we don't That know. is such a dumb Pokemon. He's in an egg. It's an egg Pokemon. He will all of your Pokemons up. Uh, okay, with what? His little eggshell? Yep. His egg chair that he runs His around? His egg in? pants. Before we open our Mystery Girl boxes, head over to patreon.com slash gasselcast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel. Yes, you can support the channel and help us grow bigger and better than ever. You also get some cool perks in return, like a live video chat with Heather and I once a month with an awesome giveaway included. Head over to patreon.com slash gasselcast to find out more. Oh, and I didn't want to forget, this is actually one of the prizes from the month of July, and next month, we'll be giving away a black light Eddie Brock. Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast because you can win one of these guys. If you don't know what Mystery Girl boxes are, you should head over to mysterygrill.com to learn more about them. They include a Funko Pop, candy, and a scratch-off card where you can win other items or points to use on their website. Highly recommend that you check these out. They're a lot of fun. They're about $15, and to get two of them, it's closer to like $40 for two boxes, which isn't too bad for a couple boxes of fun. You just gave like a really big spoiler because we're about to open these and they're not even going to be shocked by the fact that there's candy in here. Um, okay, well, they'll be shocked by seeing candy that doesn't suck. If it's Razzles, I'm going to be pissed. Are we doing like a fight? Uh, I could give you a haircut one day. That would be good. I and then I could give that. you a haircut if you, you know. I want a foot rub. Heather, I don't have enough hands for that. You're not going to like this. Oh boy. Hold on though. I have a Tootsie Roll. Oh my God. These are it's cool Tootsie fourth, Roll. Look at this. It's a 4th of July one. Um, 4th of July Tootsie Rolls. Mm. I have no idea what the story is on this Funko Pop. Here's the scratch off card though. Mm, That's cool. Two more. Mm. What? Mm. Oh, you're still on the candy. I'm so hungry. <laughs> it's so gross watching me eat little Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Let's see who, you know what? Let's play whose is worst. Actually, that's a cool Funko Pop, I but I already it have him. I got a Falcon. Okay, a Falcon's a cool Pop. I got Kristoff from Frozen. I don't know if we could get any worse than this. Well, these boxes are losers all the way around. We got 200 points on each card. You're never gonna believe. What that guy's worth. What he's worth? Mm. Um, $3. $48. No. $8. $8, okay. Seven. You know, this is one I would expect to be more valuable only because the Falcon and Winter Soldier show came out. Not only that, but I really like the look of this Falcon. I'm a winner. So I got a bunch of Tootsie Rolls. Head over to mysterygirl.com to find out more. At the end of our videos, we like to thank our patrons from Patreon by reading off some of their names. And in this video, we like to shout out to Nikki Papadop, Raymond Lubis, Richard Perez, Rodrigo E, Rudy Castillo, Ryan Thomas, Shane Toner, Sean Griffiths, Sean Mancino, and Stars and Stones. Thank you so much for all of your support and thank you to all of our patrons for your support. You guys are awesome. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.